Welcome! Have you ever asked yourself how pilots know where they are, what altitude they're flying at, where to go and how to keep everything under control? In this lesson, I'll try to answer these questions and many more you might have on what instruments pilots use to navigate and fly the aircraft. As you can imagine, you will not find the same instruments on every airplane. What's on board? varies depending on which type and model of airplane you're flying, how old it is, and the type of operation it's intended for. You will notice that the switches, knobs, lights and screens around the fly deck are grouped in the main instrument panel, where most of the instruments are, the overhead panel, where the switches and knobs to manage most of the systems are, and the central pedestal, where power and other various instruments are. Let's start discussing the basic instruments that every airplane has on board. Airspeed indicator, altimeter, heading indicator and attitude indicator, also called artificial horizon. These four instruments are the very elementary equipment that every airplane needs to have. They provide basic information and every pilot frequently checks them through the so-called T-scan. Let's have a better look at what information they communicate. The airspeed indicator shows the airspeed of the aircraft at any moment by using a series of pressure ports that detect the dynamic pressure, the pressure of the moving air, as the airplane flies through the mass of air. The result is the so-called indicated airspeed, IAS. The attitude indicator is probably the most intuitive of all instruments. The blue represents the sky, the brown or orange represents the ground. It is an artificial reproduction of the real-life horizon and can help the pilots in assessing the attitude of the aircraft especially when flying in clouds or in bad weather. The altimeter shows the altitude of the aircraft, which can be identified through a pressure setting scale provided that allows the pilots to select the correct reference pressure value. The heading indicator is simply a compass that shows where the nose of the aircraft is pointing to. It's divided in 360 sections and as a moving bug, often used as a reference. These four instruments constitute the basis of an aircraft instrumentation system. With the advancement of aircraft complexity and technology, these instruments have been updated and upgraded, but the function remains the same. They can be found even on electronic displays, obviously in a digital format. Some other instruments that need to be mentioned are the vertical speed indicator, which shows the rate of climb or descent. If it shows zero, it means the airplane is maintaining the same altitude. The sleep and skid indicator, which shows if the airplane is sleeping or skidding sideways. This instrument can be especially useful in a turn or when dealing with asymmetric power on a multi-engine airplane. Every aircraft with an engine has some basic equipment to help the pilots monitor their state. This can range from a simple RPM indicator to more complex instruments that show turbine exhaust temperature, oil pressure, compressor RPM, etc. Every aircraft can have different setups that depend from the engine type, manufacturer preferences, operational needs and many other factors. Similarly to the engine instruments, everything that has to do with navigation is highly specific and, nowadays, modern aircraft tend to use map displays as their main navigation instrument. On the display, the flight plan waypoints can be seen. Complex airplanes with multiple systems 
tend to have all the system controls on the overhead panel, which is normally divided into dedicated areas, one for each system. Have you ever wondered if pilots actually fly the aircraft for the whole time? The answer is most likely no, if the aircraft is fitted with an autopilot. Autopilots can have different levels of complexity and capability. A basic autopilot system can only maintain a set heading and altitude, but the more advanced the system becomes, the more things it can actually do. Passenger jets nowadays have extremely complex autopilot systems that can control everything from altitude, heading, airspeed, rate of climb or descent, they can navigate the airplane along a store flight plan route and can also fly instrument approaches. The majority of these autopilots are integrated in the so-called FMS or flight management system, a computer with a navigation and performance capability. The FMS can compute the best altitude and cruise speed, where to commence descent, can evaluate the position of the aircraft from different navigation sources and can provide inputs to the autopilot, which, in turn, will maneuver the aircraft appropriately. So, what are pilots doing while the autopilot manages the flight? Pilots are required to have a good understanding of all the airplane systems and monitor that all the parameters are within the standards at all times. They continually check the flight progress, as well as making sure that the fuel consumption is as planned and assess the weather conditions while monitoring the autopilot. I hope this lesson answers some of your questions, and I'll see you next time. Bye!